All right, today on the follow-through, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things, and that is sleep. Oh man, I love sleep. I, I'm filming this like bright and early in the morning. First thing, uh, I, I love, uh, you know, being here in the beginning of the day. However, once I'm here, it's great, but, but waking up, mm, not such a good thing. Uh, I, I'd rather be sleeping, uh, but, I, but I realize, and I've realized this in, in many times in my life, that when I wake up and get up early, Man, I just have a better day. It's just a really, really good day. Now, the, the passage we're going to look at, which is Psalm 127, we're going to look at verse 2 today on the follow-through. And, um, and, and Solomon's going to maybe sort of say something that's the opposite of what I just said. He says, It is vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Right, so getting up early, maybe, right? He's saying uh, is, is is a bad thing, but I don't think that's what he means. I, I don't think he means putting in a really long day is bad in and of itself. Uh, it's the reason why, and, and this goes way back to um, the gift of the Sabbath. Now, again, we we approach things like the Sabbath, like nobody tells me how to live my life, nobody tells me what what hours I should keep. But but see, that's so destructive a way to think uh, because God is the one who directs our, our days. Hopefully he directs our deeds. Hopefully it's all about what he is doing. Uh, and I'm looking at everything in my life as an act of worship and a way to, to sort of give him all the glory. Uh, and so he's saying, look, if you, you can get it really wrong, if you feel like, like your success hinges uh, on how many hours you put in, so, right? So never sleeping, never recharging. What happens is you begin to think that 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 you're unstoppable. You begin to think that that it's your power. You begin to think that you're some sort of machine, but you're really not. You need rest, and in fact, it says here that He gives you rest. You're His. He's, you, he loves you and, and wants you to take that time to recharge because that's how He's wired you. And when I say no to that, I'm saying no to Him. I'm saying no to His plan. I'm saying no to His way of doing things. And I'm going, nope, I know better. And what happens is, well, you know what happens. People burn out. They, they get worn out. They get worn down. And it's terrible, right? None of those things are good. You, you wind up having nothing left in the tank because you're trying to do it on your own. And you, man, you got limits. I have limits, all of us. And so we wind up doing, I love that image there, that we're eating the bread of anxious toil. In other words, everything is like, just freaks us out and we're so on edge because man, I gotta get it all done. And oh, I gotta do all this and I gotta do all that. And it's saying, look, look, you gotta do things at the Lord's pace, the way he wants you to do them because that makes sense, right? That is what matters. Now, should we put in long days and should we work really, really diligently and, and, and be really tired at the end of the day? Yeah, I think so. I believe so. And yet, as we talked about yesterday, we acknowledge and, and we believe that we still need rest and we need a lot of it. We need to rest in the Lord. We need to know that He's in charge. We need to know that He died for us and He rose for us. And so, Right? I'm not doing this in order to earn anything, but he's given me his free gift of love and his free gift of mercy. And he, he's with us and he's holding us in his hands and he's saying, look, look, take the rest that you need. Many say, don't work longer, but work smarter, right? Not harder, but, but smarter. And I think that is so true, especially if we're, if we're taking the Lord's lead and his direction in our lives. He'll set us up with a, with a perfect work schedule, perfect amount of hours, perfect amount of effort, because it'll all be from Him who does things, well, perfectly. And so let's take His lead today. Let's follow His direction. Let, let's work hard, but let's also kind of take that rest that He gives to us. All right, we'll talk to you next time for another follow through. I'm Pastor Fred. Hit that subscribe button and share this with somebody today.